Hi, this is Nabil Asif from Click Australia. In this short video, I'll walk you through a Click solution for the COVID-19 Open Research Dataset. This data has been released as part of an AI challenge on Kaggle, which is a popular online community for data science and machine learning. This particular challenge from the Allen Institute for AI provides us a repository of over 57,000 research articles about COVID-19 and related coronaviruses. There is a huge amount of research being published on COVID-19 at such a rate that it has become hard for the research community to stay on top of all the material. So the question is whether the use of AI could help us sift through the literature and uncover insights. This is an ambitious challenge and it's great to see the power of AI and data science being deployed for good. Before I go into the solution I built on the dataset using Click and Python, I want to provide some context and contrast by showing you the top voted submission for this challenge. This submission uses a combination of several data science techniques to group similar research into clusters. On the project website, we can explore these clusters interactively on the scatter plot. This is a very impressive piece of work, but I saw certain areas in this analysis that could be boosted with a bit of human supervision. You may have noticed that all the articles are grouped into 20 discrete clusters. This is a limitation of how many clustering algorithms work. We need to specify the number of desired clusters at the outset. This results in what might look like arbitrary groupings to a researcher. For example, look at these keywords associated with clusters 0 and 1 here. So I wondered if I could approach this problem a bit differently with Click. My focus was to give researchers the ability to find COVID-19 related papers based on their interests, and then apply clustering techniques to group research within their chosen context. We are now in my ClickSense app. All the research articles from the dataset have been loaded into this app. Click's analytics capabilities are powered by an indexing engine which means all the data loaded in this app is now searchable. For example, I can do a global search for 2020 and the surname Zifang and get results from values across all the fields in this dataset. If I choose this result, I can apply selections on the publish here and the author fields. So we can quickly find specific articles across the entire dataset. I can also search within a given field, for example, finding papers with 2019 or CUV in the title, and selecting the year published as 2020 gives us these 4,592 research papers. I can select one of these and view the full abstract here, and even navigate to the source to get the full paper. The next step was to extract interesting entities and biomedical terms from the text. For this, I use my Python extension for Click. This extension provides advanced analytics capabilities that can be called from Click during the load process or in chart expressions. I built a function that uses the spacey natural language library to extract named entities from text. Spacey uses deep learning models to recognize named entities. Rather than train our own models, it's far easier to start with a suitable pre-trained model. In this case, I used the size spacey models from the Allen Institute for AI. This has already been done, and now this field contains 418,023 biomedical terms that have been detected in the abstracts of these research papers giving us a rich new dimension for search and analysis. Let's look for papers with the term bat appears. 
Quick offers powerful search capabilities that give us a good degree of control on our results. For example, in this case, I want to take out the term battery. Selecting these entities also selects the associated research papers. So we can now see that the amount of research on bats and coronaviruses has been growing, especially since 2017. We can see a significant amount of this research was done at institutes in China, California, and Australia. This scatter plot shows individual biomedical entities and how frequently they appear in this subset of research. For more advanced searches, we can make use of a feature in Click called Alternate States. This allows us to make different selections on the same field, and I've used this to allow ad hoc grouping of search terms. For example, I'm interested in recent research on COVID-19 transmission that mentions bats. I can select all entities matching the search term 2019 and Cov in this first group. Next, we select all entities matching the word transmission. And finally, we use our search for bats. Together, the search criteria results in almost 9,000 papers. Now I can use the scatter plot to exclude papers that don't have any entities from group 1 or group 2. We could do this for the third group as well if you want it. Now within the context of this search and these 888 papers, we can apply a clustering algorithm. In this scatter plot, each bubble represents a research paper. The x-axis organizes these papers into clusters. For this, I have used the HDB scan clustering function from my Python extension. The clustering could be performed in various ways, but in this case, I've based it on the count of entities from each search group appearing in a paper's abstract. HDB scan does not require a fixed number of clusters to be defined at the outset, and it has found 58 different clusters in this case, plotted along the x-axis. It has also identified outliers, which are given the cluster label minus one. I've added some jitter to make it easier to see individual papers in each cluster. Let's select this first cluster and see if there are similarities among these four papers. The clustering is being done on these three measures, which give us a count of entities from each search group that appear in a paper's abstract. We see that papers in this cluster have several entities from group one, at least one entity related to transmission, and all of them mention bats frequently. And we can see that this is reflected in these papers' titles. Let's go down again and select this last cluster. This gives us 28 papers that have no mention of bats and only have one term from the first two entity groups in their abstract. To me, this looks like a logical clustering for these research papers in the context of our selections. I hope you saw that there is clear value in the convergence of analytics and machine learning. Click works especially well for free form exploration and in helping us navigate through complex parts of inquiry. The creative use of machine learning techniques can enrich this experience even further, giving us humans the tools to get to the core of what we are trying to understand and hopefully uncover new insights. This is my small contribution for the COVID-19 open research dataset. And I hope many people putting their efforts in analyzing this data can give researchers better tools in their work on understanding and eliminating this virus. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.